most of the time I'm pretty indifferent about shit. Like if a, a chick and his uh, his girlfriend or his boyfriend or dude chick, you know, it could be a lot of different things. I'm not offended by 50 million genders any more than I'm offended by the word cunt. Uh, of course, if you like throw it at me, you're a cunt or like you got to run your mouth about my shit. Yeah, I'm a little offended. Talk about your own problems. I don't need your fucking mouthpiece out there smoking his meth talking about how blah 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 I'm a creeper. Yeah, you know what? Fuck you. Uh, anyway, uh, like if there's like two people arguing in a love quarrel and I see that, I don't see that enough as a problem to give a shit. I walk on by. I mean if if uh, he slaps her or uh, she slaps him, then you know I might like go around the block and, and call the police to get this settled because, you know, when you're violent, you know, and people see it, they'll, they might, like, presume that that's okay behavior. Or, like, you know, it could disturb people enough to cry, like little kids and stuff. I usually don't, well, I don't think I ever, like, say cuss words around kids. But at the same time, if you're like in my apartment and you're 20 and you got a 20-year-old girlfriend there, I'm going to call you misogynist or, or a misogynist or however you want to pronounce that, telomere, telomere. If you say nigga around me, I'm going to call you a racist just, just so I win the girl over because I don't care about your fucking feelings. You got a girl in my house, she's my girl now. Otherwise, stay in your own lane. Go to, the, uh, go to your friend's house. Go to the sleep on the street. I'll be out there one day with some tacos for you, maybe. If you're not a problem for me. You know, go to the homeless shelter. I'm not here to babysit anymore. I babysat plenty of 20-year-olds when I was in my 30s in Olympia. I don't really need you running your mouth. If you say nigga, I'm going to call you a racist just so it'll win the girl over. Because that's probably why she's blushing. Uh, if you say racist, I'm going to say cunt just to win the girl over just just because, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. If if it's it's in my house, my little apartment, uh, my priority is to win the girl over. If you got to, like, come in and, like, talk about stuff, that's fine. But can we please do it while playing a board game? You're a dude. I'm a dude. What you need is a good therapist or social media. I'm not your babysitter. I'm not your therapist. I want to have fun too in my life. I want to play some board games. If you don't want to do that, don't hang out with me if you're a dude. If you're a chick and you just want to have sex all the time, I'm cool with that. If you just want a platonic relationship with me, that's cool. But like as soon as you start going out with some other dude, I'm done. Because I think I'm worthy. You running your mouth about how I have nothing to offer just makes me want to punch you. So I would rather you just stay away from me. Go live your life. Be free, little bird. That's why I don't say much in public because I don't want to exacerbate what I already see as a problem out there. And the problem is, you know, the millennials only date millennials and Zoomers only date Zoomers unless the dude's got a lot of money. And I know about telomeres and can completely open up that conversation. But I shut my mouth in public because you are, if you know me, I mean, if you know the fact that I'm an atheist, you know enough about me that you know about the telomere thing, that you know that you're a bigot. And I'm going to call you out for it, for not dating me. Or you're a classist or a weightist. Or just some dipshit that clings to the past. Or you and I are not friends because you're not my wingman. Or you and I are not friends just because you're a bitch to me. Or an asshole to me. But yeah, if you want to come over and like play board games with me, I'm cool with that. But most of the time, I'm pretty cool with being alone. Because when I'm alone, I'm happy. 
when I'm in a relationship with somebody that loves me and isn't like attacking me, then I'm happy too. I've had relationships where we've had discussions and arguments, but I've never really like they never really got too bad. I kind of I kind of figure that me dating older women is going to cause problems because it's caused problems four times with four different women. And the violence wasn't that bad. It was just my frustration and kind of storming off. And then getting sick of the fact that I was angry. But they were pretty much just using me as a boy toy. So I don't really care. I don't want to date older women anymore. I've already done that four times. I've already dated women my own age four times. Four different women. I don't want to do it. I don't want to date some immature bitch that's always running her mouth at me. Talking about how she's... Not the typical Christian because she smokes meth. Well, that is the typical Christian, honey. You're a drug addict and a bigot. You're the typical Christian. Uh, I don't want to run my uh, game with somebody that is going to call me a misogynist, even though they're an atheist, so you're not really my chick. you got to be nice to me in order for me to like you. If you're not nice to me, I don't want to hang out with you. Like, if we're playing a game or something, you're like, fuck you. That's fine. But if you're, like, tipping the tables over or, like, punching me or you refuse to date me based on some immature criteria like age or even race, that's silly. You have telomere attrition. Your right supermarginal gyrus is broken down to where you show no empathy. You see how I am. You trolls will yada 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 on my posts and I'll just call you cunts whether or not you're a guy or a girl because fuck you. So I got a friend. I got some friends that are like, you're too intellectual. Well, okay. I'll, I'll call you uh, a bunch of bitches for not dating me then. Of course, my friends would be there like, hell yeah. But then there's like some that are like, you're too edgy. I'm like, well, then I'll calm it down and we could talk about something uh, like maybe uh, Kamala Harris sucking or Tulsi Gabbard or some sort of political thing. We'll have a political discussion. But if you're there, like, it's, like if we're having a conversation and we're just friends and I tell you that I really like you and you say, let's not do this anymore. Let's not have this conversation. Fine by me. Blocked. Have a nice day. I'm not really here to listen to you say no. I'm walking away when you say no. Because clearly you don't put me in uh, to a spot to be a priority. So if you say no, bye. If you say if you call me in names as I'm about to like give you food for being homeless, I'm just gonna say, well, I'm gonna go find that old man down the street and those people down that street. You're being a cunt to me. You just called me a bitch. You're a chick. You're a dude. You just called me a bitch. You just like ran your mouth and put me on blast. You didn't treat me as a normal, average human being. You treat me as though I was your inferior. By there's plenty of people down the block that I can feed. So run your bigot mouth all you want. Run your bitch mouth all you want. Either way, I'm going to come at you with whatever you hate just because uh, you're easily offended. If you troll me, I'm going to troll you. You know, that's really that simple. I'm not saying I'm a troll. I'm, I say I'm more of an inspirational speaker or a comedian or... Uh, spoken word artist, mostly a spoken word artist. But you call me a creeper, I'm going to call you a bigot. And I'm going to call the cops because I know you're smoking meth around children. Or you're smoking meth in the apartment complex that I live in. Or you're smoking pot in the apartment complex that I live in. You're supposed to go outside with your pot. You're smoking that pot and you just call me a creeper, bye, we're done, we're not friends. It's my N-word. You call me that, we're done. You're any kind of mean to me. We're done. I'm going to find it whatever you're doing illegal or against the rules. And bye.
it's not the words that offend me. It's you using them against me. I'm not going to go into your little territory and downvote your posts. I'll just ignore you. I, when I watch YouTube videos, I like them. You know, I put the thumbs up react. When I want money, I pitch you to Patreon now. I've never really... I used to beg people for money, but I don't really do that anymore. If I'm hungry, I know where to eat for free. It doesn't really bother me. I'd rather hang out with the proletariat than you bourgeoisie ass fuckers. Cocksuckers, mean-spirited bitch holes and retards and divot heads and ableists and... You know, whatever caustic thing I gotta say to get you the fuck away from me, I'm gonna say it. Just because you said something caustic to me or about me. So fuck you, uh, bigot, fuck you, cunt, fuck you, faggot, whatever... Fuck you, homophobe. Whatever the situation calls for, and you're like trolling my posts, I turned off the notifications because I'm tired of it. Either you're running at me with slurs or you're whining about what I'm saying, which makes you a bitch. So, like, if you can't stand the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen is sort of my philosophy. You're out there like insulting gay people calling them faggots and I'm I'm insulting Republicans by calling them faggots but at the same time like when you break it all down is any of this really even necessary I don't think it is that's my point the slurs like if you, you were in any IRL situation would you really want to hang out with somebody using a bunch of slurs, well, maybe you would. Maybe that's you. Maybe you think that that's fun, but you're ruining it for the people whose couches you're surfing on. And maybe that's why you're homeless. To me, it's... I would appreciate keeping things more civil. Don't be somebody that provokes people to anger. If you don't like me, leave. If you got to occupy my time and I don't like doing what you're doing and this is my apartment, leave. Because if I'm in your place and we're doing something that I don't like doing, I'm probably going to leave. So, you know, get some fish. Uh, have a two-day limit. If you try to hang out with me for more than two days and we're not playing games or having sex... I'm not into the gay shit. If you are, go down to the blind buck. Shit, there's lots of gay people in this town. The LGBT community doesn't bother me as much as straight people do in your stupid straight pride parade Republican closeted homo Ted Haggard. Oh, I'm going to catch pedophiles, but I actually lust after 13-year-olds Chris Hansen cheat on his wife bullshit Bill Clinton, Donald Trump. Epstein, motherfuck, he didn't kill himself. You know he didn't. I'm tired of the bullshit, is what I'm saying. Like, when I go out to eat by myself, I'm not really trying to talk to the people around me, and I'd really appreciate you not doing that. It's just really annoying. Like, if you, you're a dude, and you're like, you, yeah, I know you're straight and I'm straight, and you're going to make the situation awkward by saying, you should... You should really kiss me on the mouth. I'm going to call you a fag just because it'll get you away from me. I'm going to say, I don't care. I'm a misanthrope. Leave me alone. If you're like there being a bitch to me, I'm going to call you a bitch. That's usually applicable to the guys. If you're a woman and you're mean to me, I just block you. I'd rather not hang out with you. If you're a guy, it's pretty much the same thing. But it's like, why are you coming over to my apartment? Are we going to play board games or are you just going to sit and ramble and talk? Because I'm not really down for that. You're a chick and you want to fuck other dudes while you are friends with me? I'm not down for that either. You're the creeper. You're the one smoking meth. You're the one smoking pot in the apartment. And I will fucking tell on you because you're being uh, something that keeps me up at night and angry. Provoke my anger, I'll get you kicked out. 
You're being a fucking child. Throw me some money on Patreon. Quit like trying to write on my line that I want to say to the girls as I'm saying it. You would not be allowed in my apartment. Because you just say the words that I would really like to say. And you're using it to mock me, as I would say them. Which is your age phobia. Okay, Zoomer? Okay, Zoomer? <laughs>